Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Glacier Chain Snow Tire Chains here on the back of our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now guys, this can be a nice little way of just giving yourself a little bit of protection against that snow and ice that you're gonna be up against. Now this is primarily gonna be for your more lightweight capability here. You're not gonna get too much puncture through that snow and ice. However, these are gonna give us a great start and stop maneuver as we do have a ladder style here on our chains. So what that's great for, as we said, getting those starts and stops on those roads. Now one thing to be mindful of though, they're not gonna be quite like those diamond style patterns which gives you full coverage across your tire. So you're gonna be losing a little bit of turning radius just because you're gonna to have to get over those humps every time you're trying to make that left or that hard right. So just keep in mind that it's something you are gonna to have to combat with a little bit. However, it is excellent if you're just needing a little something to make sure you're not skidding as we are on those light ice and snow days. And also just to get us compliant for our state. That way we have something that's easy to throw on our tires. And that way too could get us out if we are in a pickle at any point. One thing I like about it too, you are seeing these little plastic tabs on the sidewall as well. And that makes sure that our steel rollers aren't going to be biting into that sidewall, causing any damage to our tire. Now the steel rollers themselves make for a nicer, smoother ride too. Definitely not going to be as aggressive and they're going to actually kind of help your tire kind of roll with it. So they're not we're going to be feeling it as much as we are driving. Well guys, the installation doesn't take too much time. Do take note that we do have it here on the rear wheel because most of your Jeeps are gonna be rear wheel, rear wheel drive. Be sure to check your vehicle's owner's manual guide to make sure yours is the same. Well, let's go ahead and hop to our installation. To get these installed, guys, what we wanna do, go ahead and lay them out. Make sure there's no kinks or links getting in the way. What's nice about these rollers as well, guys, they usually don't have a bad time binding up. Your biggest issue is gonna be usually if your corners have been tucked under one. So as long as you just get them unfurled, these guys are kinda of nice because they don't bind on themselves nearly as much as actual chains do. So it doesn't take us too much time to make sure everything's nice and ready to get in place. Another thing to take note of, you are gonna have your hooks here so that you can see where that's bending over could have a little bit of a hard point of contact. We don't want that rubbing up against our tire causing any damage. So we wanna go ahead and as we lift this, we're actually putting that smooth side on this other side here, guys, on our tire. So I'm just gonna simply lift this and set it across my tire. Let's go ahead and do so now. And we can just start setting it. Kind of fitting it to our tire. We can go ahead and make our first connection on the on the inside. So we can get underneath our vehicle here. Now keep in mind, you know, if you're in the muck and mire, this can be a little bit more of a pain. So hopefully we're doing this before we reach the situations. However, not gonna be the hardest thing to do. Even if we do have to make ourselves a space on the underside of our vehicle, we just simply take our extra end here and this end and start fitting it through and getting it in position to start getting locked down. So let's go ahead and try to get as much of this as we can. So we can get maybe one more here, guys. It can help to kind of push it just like that. Let's go ahead and try that for now. We can take our extra, and we do have a little clip. We can go ahead and get that braided right inside there. And what we don't want to do is to have this flopping around, causing any damage to the inner assembly here. So that way we can go ahead and get that extra just pinched and out of the way. So we can go ahead and start getting the front installed here. We just simply take our extra cable and start slotting it through. Trying to get as much as we can, of course, making sure that our rest of our cables are sitting nicely. Looks like we might have a little good fit here. We might have to go one more, but let's go ahead and try it here on our fourth knob. We just simply have to bring our cam back and around. And I actually do think it is just a little loose enough. We can go ahead and go for one more. That fifth spoke there. Just like that. And then bring our cam back. Start getting that one set to hold it in position. There we go. Now that won't be going anywhere. We can also take our extra here and try to slot it into one of these plastic clips. Now that that's clamped, we won't have that extra bouncing around. And let's make sure we are set across our tire. Things are looking nice and secure here without too much movement on our chains. And I can't really fit 
that's kind of hard. I can get up to maybe my knuckle there. I think we do have a nice little fit. Now we could struggle for this one extra dot here, guys, if we're really worried about it, but I think we are gonna be road worthy for ourselves. Since we are still utilizing these rollers, guys, keep in mind they are gonna be just a little jagged here, not gonna quite line up. As we drive, they should fit themselves in place. This coil here is very tight against our tire, which is great because we wanna make sure we have a nice and secure fit. Well, we are looking good here. One last little thing for installation as well, guys. As this rotates, it is gonna be starting to shift and get a little loose around your tire. It can be very nice and almost integral to go ahead and grab yourself a rubber tensioner as well. This is gonna go ahead and make sure that we're pulling and staying even across our tire, even as we are in long transit. This is especially gonna be great if you find yourself taking longer drives where you really need your chains on for a lengthy amount of time. To get it installed though, we just simply loop it in. One thing to take note though, we make sure our hook is pointed away from our tire, guys. Don't want that puncturing and having us have a flat as we go, of course. And then we can just simply start going around kind of much like you would to secure some lug nuts on your tire. You just simply want to go around and try to even out your spread. That way we're going ahead and pulling this all into the center. And one last little connection is going to do us. And as you guys can see, it's starting to pull on those cables, pulling it all in line to center and get it nice and centered. Well, as you guys saw, that installation not gonna be too hard for us to have to do. I could even see us having to do this on the side of the road. Nice that we can go ahead and throw it over. Keep in mind, you still have to go underneath it. You're gonna have to start looking at some more premium chains if you don't wanna actually have to do that, if you wanna stay on the top of your vehicle. So, not gonna be the hardest to do, especially for where we are looking price-wise for ourselves, guys. One little thing too, it is made of a low carbon steel, so you are gonna find yourself actually kind of degrading these chains as they go. It can be helpful to kind of rinse them off, get that salt and allow them to dry properly. I know a lot of people too like to put them in a little bit of oil, a little bit of grease, can really start extending that lifetime of your chains for those off seasons that you're not gonna be using it. And one last little thing too, guys, it will come in this nice little carry bag for you. Now these canvases, they hold up okay. You might start seeing some pokes and holes. Now with the steel rollers, you're gonna see that a little bit less, but just keep in mind on these ends, they just have a tendency to be rigid and poke through sometimes. However, this can be nice to go ahead and that therefore our chains are always in our car. And if they get a little sloppy or kind of like a little debris on them, nice that we can go ahead and contain that in our container and not have it in our vehicle. Well guys, I think that's gonna do it for our look at the Glacier Chain Snow Tire Chains here on our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.